Hello everyone! Since 1903, when the Wright brothers soared into the sky in the first airplane, aviation has come a very long way. Today, no one is surprised by biplanes, jet aircraft, or drones. Airplanes are also used in the military, performing a multitude of functions, from reconnaissance and training to transportation and strategic roles. But today, we're going to talk about some of the most interesting fighter and reconnaissance aircraft from around the world that stand out not only for their grace and speed, but also for their technology. The F-22 Raptor has been in service for more than 20 years, but a single one still costs around $150 million. Every dollar is fully justified. The fifth-generation fighter is focused on using stealth technology to achieve air superiority, but it can also perform ground attacks and is equipped with powerful electronic warfare and reconnaissance systems. This predatory bird is a joint project of Lockheed Martin and Boeing, Lockheed provided the airframe and weapon systems, while Boeing contributed the wings, avionics, and pilot training systems. Thus, this teamwork created the most expensive and one of the most advanced fighters of all time. Another creation by Lockheed is the F-35 Lightning. While it's a bit cheaper, from $90 to $120 million, it's still extremely advanced and can cause a lot of trouble. In addition to a peak speed of Mach 1.5 and the ability to carry 8 to 16 missiles, the F-35 boasts a groundbreaking electro-optical system capable of detecting air and ground targets, including anti-aircraft installations and ballistic missiles. Some modifications of the fighter are capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Other interesting features of the fighter include helmet-mounted queuing, the ability to carry tactical nuclear weapons, and an advanced radar system. The FA-18F Super Hornet is a multi-role, twin-engine fighter designed primarily for aircraft carriers. But its technical characteristics are good enough for it to be considered a great option for equipping air squadrons, even for countries with a very small navy. It entered service in 2000, replacing the F-14 Tomcat, and is a modernized version of the main U.S. fighter, the FA-18 Hornet. In addition to a 20mm cannon, it can be equipped with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. One unit costs $80 million, and in addition to the USA, its capabilities have been appreciated by the air forces of Kuwait and Australia. For over a century, Dassault has been providing aircraft to the French Air Force. Most notably, the latest fighter, the Rafale, created in 1986 and entering service in 2001. And although the Rafale is a fourth-generation fighter, it's almost on par with its competitors. The aircraft's special canard design provides improved maneuverability, considering its maximum speed of Mach 1.8, a maximum flight range of 1,850 kilometers, the ability to use various classes of missiles and an uncommonly large number of radar systems for a fighter have made the Rafale an excellent choice for the air forces of India, Egypt, and Greece, despite its high cost. Such a futuristic fighter was presented in November 2024 at the Zhuhai Air Show. The Avic Baidi Type B, also known as the White Emperor, 
serves as a vivid demonstration of China's intentions in military aviation, in light of some countries' development of sixth-generation fighters. However, for now, it's just a concept, which the AVIC company is using for demonstration purposes only. It's worth noting that this concept involves more than just a groundbreaking design. For example, it is known to use quantum radar systems for better identification of stealth aircraft. How far the Chinese will go with such groundbreaking ideas remains to be seen, as information about the White Emperor is rarely disclosed. The RQ-170 Sentinel is a highly advanced unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, that the U.S. has been using since 2007. Its features, in addition to the flying wing design that reduces weight and drag, include a wide wingspan, up to 20 meters, and a focus on reconnaissance. It got its nickname, the Kandahar Beast, because it was spotted at the Afghan base in Kandahar in 2007 even before any information about it had been released. It is known that before 2011, these drones were used to track Osama bin Laden before his elimination. In 2011, one of these rare drones was shot down over Iran, where they are now producing copies of it. At the height of the Cold War, a reconnaissance aircraft that was meant to stun the world was being tested at Area 51 in Nevada. That's how the SR-71 came to be, whose capabilities in some respects have yet to be surpassed. Built in a tailless design, this Scout, which was ahead of its time, was capable of flying at an altitude of 26 kilometers and had a flight range of 5,000 kilometers. At such a high altitude, the aircraft's high speed, from Mach 1 to 3, provided protection from being shot down, which was ensured by the aerodynamic body and air intakes. To this day, this aircraft is considered the fastest in history, with a maximum speed of 3,500 km per hour. However, due to high maintenance costs, all 30 aircraft were decommissioned in 1998. Since 1976, the United States has been actively using fighters from the F-15 Strike Eagle family, which are still being modernized. Their all-weather capability, ease of modification, reliability, and speed make them a good choice for improving and implementing new electrical systems and engineering solutions. As a result, the stealth version F-15 Silent Eagle was introduced in 2010 and the F-15 EX Eagle II in 2020. The Strike Eagle was also re-equipped as a bomber. Despite the clearly somewhat outdated platform, the newest variations of the fighters cost $95 million, which makes it one of the most expensive in the world. And here is one of the main aircraft of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, the heavy fifth-generation fighter J-20. Introduced in 2016, this Chinese unit is capable of accelerating to Mach 2 and flying at an altitude of up to 20 kilometers. Distinctive features of its design, such as its absorbent coating, hidden missile bays, and atypical fuselage structure, improve the fighter's stealth, 
making it the first full-fledged stealth fighter of Chinese manufacture. Its estimated cost is $110 million, although the fighter has not been sold for export, and considering its capabilities, it's easy to see why. Saab is known not only for producing cars, but primarily for producing aircraft for the Swedish Air Force. The JAS-39 Gripen, which entered service in the late 90s, is their most advanced creation. As a fourth-generation multi-role fighter, the Gripen performs the roles of a fighter, attack aircraft, and reconnaissance aircraft with equal effectiveness. To do this, in addition to a 27mm cannon, it can be equipped with various types and calibers of missiles and bombs, from four to eight of them. Of all its counterparts, the Swedish fighter is one of the cheapest to produce, which is why it has appealed to the air forces of Thailand, Brazil, and South Africa. Its low cost, however, is explained by the absence of a number of modern technologies characteristic of its competitors. This selection wouldn't be complete without a flying legend that became one of the symbols of the Cold War. The American reconnaissance aircraft Lockheed U-2 has been used by the U.S. Air Force since 1957, despite a number of incidents, the most famous of which was the shooting down of one of the planes over Sverdlovsk in 1960. Like the SR-21 that replaced it, the U-2 is capable of flying at high altitudes, up to 20 kilometers, and at a speed of 800 kilometers per hour, it can fly continuously for 4 to 12 hours, including over the territory of Warsaw Pact countries. The presence of high-quality cameras and adaptation to more advanced systems predetermined the Scout's almost 60 years of use. At one time, it was the U-2 that discovered Soviet missiles in Cuba. Hoping to replace the outdated F-16 in its ranks, Turkey created its own fifth-generation fighter, the TAI Khan. As the first Turkish development in the industry, the Khan is almost on par with its competitors, boasting super cruise capability and its own radar system. The first prototype took to the skies in February 2024, and testing is ongoing. The first series of the fighter will be equipped with engines from General Electric, but by 2032, they expect to use their own TF-35000 jet engine. Despite the fact that development is still underway and production is planned to start in 2028, the fighter's cost starts at $100 million, and Egypt and Indonesia have already expressed a desire to acquire Ankara's debut development. Time will tell how far the Turkish Khan will fly. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a joint development by Italy, the UK, Spain, and Germany, aimed at creating a common fighter for the air forces of European countries. The aircraft is equipped with two Eurojet engines, which provide the ability for supersonic flight without afterburners and a speed of Mach 2. The Typhoon can carry both European-made air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. Over more than 20 years, about 600 of these fighters have been produced, and despite a price of $105 million per unit, Saudi Arabia, Austria, Oman, and Qatar have also shown interest in it, in addition to the developing countries. Russia's first fighter to reach the fifth generation was the Su-57, 
Developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau in 2010, with a mass of 19 tons, it is somewhat lighter than most of its competitors and has a speed of Mach 2. It clearly surpasses many rivals in flight range from 2 to 4,000 kilometers, yielding only to Chinese aircraft for now. Advanced navigation systems allow the Su-57 to easily overcome air defense systems, and its long-range missiles not only eliminate targets in the air, but also perform tactical bombing. In addition, the latest Isdelier 30 engines increase its maneuverability against attacks. Originally conceived as a competitor to American counterparts, the Su-57 could very well give them a run for their money. And here are the American stealth bombers, the B-2 Spirit, on the airbase. These are the most expensive aircraft in history, costing almost a billion dollars. Just look at their amazing appearance and size. It's no wonder as their shape acts as a camouflage, and they can accommodate 10 bombs or cruise missiles. The MiG-31, although a fourth-generation fighter, is still relevant and has been in service for 45 years. One of the main advantages of the MiG-31 family was its radar systems, which had no equal in the world until the end of the 20th century. Some modifications can still boast the ability to track up to 24 targets simultaneously. In addition, the MiG's engines provided great thrust and high speed, up to Mach 3, which is relevant for intercepting targets in the air. The MiG-31K modification is particularly notable, as it is one of the only aircraft in the world to carry a hypersonic aeroballistic missile, the Kinjal. Another jewel of Soviet aircraft engineering is the Su-27, a heavy fourth-generation fighter. And don't let the heavy tag mislead you. It is capable of reaching a speed of up to 2,500 km per hour and can carry not only missiles, but also bombs. A special feature of this fighter is that it was the first Soviet fighter with an electronic remote control system. And in the 1980s, it broke several records for climbing into the air reaching an altitude of 15,000 meters in just 76 seconds. Despite a reduction in production, after more than 45 years, Russia alone has about 100 Su-27s of various modifications in service, which clearly speaks to their quality and reliability. A deep modernization of the Su-27 became the 4 generation fighter, the Su-35, developed in 2008. Close to the characteristics of fifth-generation fighters, it costs only $75 million, which makes it a more affordable alternative. The 35th has an even higher flight speed, up to Mach 2.25, and a thrust vectoring engine, distinguishing it from competitors with exceptional maneuverability. In addition, it can carry up to eight tons of armament, and a special advantage is the powerful Urbis-E radar system capable of identifying targets at a distance of 400 kilometers. Its enormous firepower allows it to compete even with the F-35, making it almost the most formidable fighter of its class, despite the fact that the Su-35 does not have stealth technology or advanced avionics. These facts, however, have not prevented a number of countries, such as China and Iran, from acquiring these fighters for their air forces.